When it comes to maintaining your CAD equipment, it's important to take action when it's needed. And that's especially true when it comes to your CAT drivetrain. Hi, I'm Todd Barrowman. I'm a senior parts and service marketing consultant with Caterpillar. And I'm here today to talk to you about drivetrain repair options. A worn drivetrain can lead to costly repairs. Unfortunately, detecting a worn drivetrain can be difficult because signs of wear usually aren't visible to the naked eye. It's important to repair your drivetrain components before they fail because waiting until after failure can potentially double your repair costs. When you're making decisions about your CAT drivetrain, there are two important things to keep in mind. First, CAT drivetrain components are built to be rebuilt. By taking advantage of parts reusability, you can maximize the component life and value. Second, all drivetrain components are built as a system with varying levels of repairs. Getting the full value out of these components will help lower your costs. Now, let's take a look at these components and their levels. Level 1 parts are designed to wear and protect mating parts. They should always be replaced during a complete component rebuild and typically have a lower replacement cost. Level 2 parts are slower wearing and designed to be reusable. Replacing these parts comes at a higher cost, so maintaining them is important. Level 3 parts are designed to last the life of the machine. Some may require salvage work to get there. They only need to be replaced if there is a catastrophic failure and come at a significantly higher cost. So how do you get the most out of these components and catch problems before they lead to failure? Unlike many other machine components, a visual inspection of your drivetrain tells you little about its condition. The best solution is to work with your CAT dealer and pay attention to planned indicators and problem indicators. Planned indicators help you identify a window of opportunity for making before failure repairs. Problem indicators help you fine tune the timing and type of repair that is required. I can't stress enough how important it is to act on these indicators if they reveal potential problems. Like I mentioned before, repairing after failure can potentially double your repair costs. If a repair is required, there are four key questions to ask in order to determine which repair is right for you. And your cat dealer can help. The first question is, how long do you plan to own the machine? The second question is, how often do you use the machine? The third question is, what are your expectations regarding price? And the fourth question, how quickly does the machine need to get back to work? By working with your CAT dealer, you can answer these questions and get a better understanding of the repair options available for your situation. Now let's look at each option. In a rebearing and reseal, all level one parts are replaced and all other parts are inspected. A rebearing reseal plus replaces all level one parts plus any other parts needed as identified by inspection or requested by the customer. A component rebuild or dealer exchange restores 100% of component life and gives you flexible options including CAT certified components. CAT Reman is a factory rebuilt component that gives you like new performance at a fraction of the cost. Plus it comes with a 12 month Caterpillar parts warranty. In the event of a catastrophic failure that can't be cost effectively rebuilt, complete new CAT components are available. They come with the latest engineering updates and offer a 12-month Caterpillar warranty. Properly maintaining your drivetrain is critical. The best way to do that is to pay attention to the indicators and take action when necessary. And no one knows more about drivetrain repair options than your CAT dealer, so contact them to discuss the range of options that can be tailored to meet your needs.